Hey everyone, this is Pharaoh Silver, the Pharaoh of Beer Money Finance, and this is the October 2024 Beer Money Portfolio Month in Review. I apologize for being quite late. Lots of things happened. I won't get to them here. So it's taken me a bit to work on this, and I promise I'm going to get it back to its normal time as the first video of the month in December. Also, another thing I want to mention is I am aware I have a high cash balance on here at least a higher than normal cash balance anyway, but I do want to get to exactly why I kept it like this at the end of the video. I do want to go over the beer money portfolio first, and of course my real life progress on Atlas Earth, if that's okay with y'all, especially since this has been another big month, making $256.70 with 11 sources, and I'm going to go over the top five now. So the top five are as follows. Number one, no surprise, free cash, getting remnants from Word Farm Adventure last month, and several rewards with Word Madness to combine for $114.67 this month. Word Madness should finish up this month as well, and as of the time of this recording, I have a little over 300 levels left to go through and only about three days left to play. It is going to be genuinely down to the wire. Second place is Bridge. I had been calling it Bridge Money for so long, but they recently changed their name to Bridge, so I'm going to change it here. It makes sense, since for a lot of people who aren't part of the Earn Plus program, they can only cash out on gift cards now anyway. So, $39.81 for this month, mostly off of ads and bonuses, as well as completing a bonus game that landed me another 300 coins, which was about $3. In third place, we have a tie. First off, Atlas Earth who had been giving me $20 for so long, but I did say this was going to be a $25 month, and they delivered, and I expect more of these $25 months to be on the way. Not much progress made here, other than an increase to level 4 on my badge passport, and I currently have exactly 2,000 Atlas Bucks on the simulated account. Only need another 6,000 to max out the passport basically and get to level 5 to get my 25% bonus. I should get that by December, and it could even be sped up with the introduction of monthly challenges. Joining them in third place is Swagbucks at $25. I picked up a quick $25 gift card for my troubles of eating these actually pretty good Jimmy Dean chicken biscuits. I've been talking about them for a couple months now. I bought enough that I can make roughly $40 worth of gift cards out of them. I mean, who doesn't like a good chicken honey biscuit, right? I have another $25 gift card as well, I will withdraw as soon as this video is over, but December will likely come up blank for me otherwise. But still, that means I'm going to wind up with about $150 at the end of the year with swag bucks, so I say that that's a win there. Fifth place is One Pulse at $20, so I cash that out on October the 16th, so I have until November 15th to make another $20 to cash out on. I'm actually making pretty good progress this time, actually. Um, I'm sitting at about the $14 mark, and I'm like a little over halfway in. Surprising increase in polls this month, and I hope it keeps up. And even if I do go over $20 by the 15th, it'll only withdraw $20 at a time, so the rest will be credit for slower times in future months, basically. Moving on, we have Cash Walk at $10. I actually was very close to getting a third gift card. Um, the lack of challenges, though, have made things a little bit more difficult to earn here, but the increase from three daily gifts to seven and the ability to double up on those with ads does help things a little bit. Now, I don't know what other nerfs await for me on it, but I'm just glad I have an Android because right now with iPhone, this, this must be really difficult to keep going, honestly, with the recent increases on $5 gift card costs a few months back to 5,000 coins. It's still 3000 on Android, by the way. We also have Amazon MTurk with $9.19, all from a single day, and actually most of them from a single $6.50 study. And then I did a few really easy two-minute surveys for $0.40, cents, three-minute surveys for $0.80, cents, and so on. Those easy and quick surveys are real nice, and when I'm on it, I love catching them. Receipt Hog gave me $5 this month. It is the second cash out of the year and looking likely like the last one. And honestly, I might do a bit of a change with receipt apps in general next year, like maybe grouping them, because while they are a force combined separately, they barely pay out much at all. Probably something I'll try to fix as we go into 2025. Now, Coinbase gave me $4 with the Coinbase Learn, and Alio was the crypto of the month. 
I transferred the $4 in Alio into Ethereum to increase my Ethereum holdings. 1Q gave me $3.50. This is similar to MTurk, that it all happened in a single 14 question survey for the month. I'm glad 1Q is no longer going months before giving me something anymore, but I do wish they were a bit more frequent. And finally, because of my increased cash position this month, I have 53 cents in savings account interest with a 4% interest in my Ally Bank account. Now here we have the investments and no change with the exception of adding $4 in Ethereum and adding $100 of my cash into an I-bond. The rest we will talk about in a bit. Now for my real life Atlas Earth progress. If you remember, I decided to go for a gambit back on October 17th and take the Kannapolis train station which added 140 parcels for me. Since then I've added another 100 after getting multiple top 25s and top 50s in minigames, as well as plenty of surveys to add additional Atlas bucks. My gambit actually paid off when I got to the $55 a month mark on November the 3rd when I hit 1,729 parcels. I'm now sitting at 1,743 parcels and currently making $55.28 a month. I made $55 a month at 1,500 parcels here and as you can see, I've been keeping track each day on how much I would have lost or gained compared to the 1,500 since the super rent boost of course and this was the super rent boost on the 17th and I wound up with a gain of $1.03 doing this gambit so it actually did pay off for me but by about four or five days, I admit, if I weren't so keen on minigames, I'm probably not going to be able to get this to pay off for me. I still strongly suggest, if you're at the 1500 level, to go ahead and just build up the Atlas Bucks and get yourself to 1720, I believe. Yeah, 1720 parcels. I continue to widen my lead in Kannapolis, if I go over here and you will see that I currently have a 1500 parcel lead over the next biggest guy. Uh, over here in the state, I'm sitting at eighth place, but Tom McDonald is very quickly catching up on me. And finally, in the country, I am sitting at 267th place with my 1743 parcels, and it looks like I haven't hit a point yet where the places are like 20 to 30 parcels apart. It does look like it's you know, on the way up here, 1800 is still another like 20 places up. So that's not too bad. And yeah, I would say that the, with the Gambit, it did pay off for me, but I still do not recommend it for most people. Now, I want to go back to talking about this cash over here. Um, actually, wait one moment here. Uh, okay, it's close enough. Um, yeah, I want to talk about this cash, the $157 that I kept here in cash. So the reason I kept it here was because I'm unsure how realistic you, as the beer money community, as the audience, want this portfolio to be. Um, I want this portfolio, although it is my money and it is my portfolio, I want to use this as a way to inspire people to kind of save money and build a portfolio of their own, a makeshift portfolio of their own, and save up for retirement even if they feel like they're just barely getting by. So there are two factors I haven't really talked about en route to doing that. Um, I want to talk about those right now. The first of those is equipment costs. So obviously, somebody who is solely saving off of their beer money portfolio is not going to have money to spare to buy a new phone, but typically anyway. But you could use spare cash from the portfolio to do that and get yourself a decent phone. Should I apply this to the experiment? Would you want me to? Uh, should I go find like older phones, lower end phones? Should I go find phones that somebody would like with a low budget or something? Let me know on that one. All right. So that's the first thing. The second thing that's a little bit, um, iffier is taxes. Now, um, if I do this, if I do enable taxes to this, I will use the lowest national tax rate of 12% and I will add on the 4% North Carolina rate. So it'll be 16% total. But I would start taking 16% of what I earn on here and immediately deduct it for taxes. This one I'm a little bit less certain on because everyone's tax rate is different. Mine, for example, is in 12%. And there are some who might not even be making the standard deduction. So all this would be tax free. The problem is, is that a lot of the taxes that you see here, it's very variable. Like, you know, I have a, I have a huge Canadian audience and a huge European audience that pay much higher taxes than 12%. Um, there are also some that don't, don't have to pay any taxes at all, as I mentioned. So it wouldn't seem fair, 
but let me know what you'd like to see to make this more or less realistic. These two factors had been weighing pretty heavy on my mind since the start of this experiment, and if it's fine to leave them out in the experiment and just giving the reminder that you still need to pay your taxes on April 15th or something, or, you know, you just set aside money for equipment costs, that's fine. But if we need a more realistic outlook of what a person would do, then, yeah, this month and next month, I might just start, like, saving up the money for taxes and just kind of pause the investments a little bit. But let me know uh, what you'd want to see on this. And I'm just going to go with the crowd for this one, basically. I want to see what the sentiment is. So on the comments section, let me know what you think about taxes, about adding overhead, yeah, please do let me know on that because I want to try to make this a portfolio that can relate to most people on here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all, everyone. So this is the video. I already mentioned about the comment for the question of this video. Um, also, of course, I'm always down to listening about what you, how October has went for you, I mean. Uh, like this video if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to Beer Money Engine. Uh, yeah, this is Pharaoh Silver signing out, and thank you all for your patience with my, with you know what was going on in my, my life in general. Um, but we're full steam ahead now. Mirror Money Engine, here we go. Pharaoh Silver signing off. Bye, everybody.